Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Peppa Pig's Dairy video. Before we begin, I need to thank Hamaya's Likes Trains, The Real Peppa Pig 2021, Kelly Wheatley, Mega Day, Who's That Naughty Girl, Rabbit Peach, Aiden, and Jess for subscribing. If you would like to be featured in my next video, all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment about it. Now, on to the video. So, in this episode, Mr. Potato comes to Peppa Pig's school, and then Another character, who appears to be Super Potato, also comes out. It's implied by the creators of the show that this is actually not the real Super Potato and merely Mr. Potato dressed up as Super Potato, because as you see, Mr. Potato is there talking to the kids, then he runs out, and quickly Super Potato comes back. Then he leaves to go to, you know, wherever he goes, and he gets trapped in his car. And so the kids all say, you know, we should call for Super Potato, you know, he's a superhero, he was just here, you know, he obviously has connections to Mr. Potato. And Mr. Potato says, you know, I don't think that'll work. Furthering the implication that the Super Potato we saw was just Mr. Potato, Potato dressed up. Now, after the children call for Super Potato, a Super Potato flies through the sky and rescues Mr. Potato. When he saved Mr. Potato, Mr. Potato did not look as shocked as I would be if a superhero came and saved me. I believe he was in on it. He put up a bit of a fight about calling Super Potato at first, for someone who is the only movie star in the country, not a very good actor. I don't think Madame Gazelle was in on it, but based on how Mr. and Super Potato act, I think they coordinated it. I think Super Potato is an animal in a jetpack or something. Meant to show kids this, so they will be like, wow, I saw a superhero, and always listen to Mr. Potato, even as adults. Cause, although as adults they might stop believing that that superhero is really real, they will still believe in Mr. Potato without realizing that the reason of that is that they saw this superhero as a kid connected to Mr. Potato. You may say, but the technology in the show is just terrible. To which I say, exactly. It's all coming together as I write this. It's 90s looking to technology, as you can see by the phone and the TV, but we all know what happened in the 90s, and I didn't see any walking and talking animals. The common theme in dystopia is that in the future, we have sort of developed in technology, the common public has. In the novella Anthem, for example, by Ayn Rand, but the government has much more advanced tech than the common people. Mr. Super Potato is just one example of this. This all ties back into the theory that Peppa Pig is basically a post-apocalyptic, perhaps, um, dystopian future where there is one big, authoritative, possibly global government and all of the people are basically being oppressed. Not through, perhaps, control and, you know, soldiers in the streets, but in a different way, more similar to that you see in Brave New World, where they're kept mostly through being kept happy and just content with their everyday small lives as common people. This also ties in with the Daddy Pig and Edmund Elephant theory. They are slightly different, slightly better than the other people, and that has to be repressed. This in and of itself may not turn a smart person stupid, but how society treats people really affects their ability. This is seen in the very, very controversial monster science experiment, psychological experiment, where they took a bunch of kids, some of them had speech impediments and some of them didn't. The children with speech impediments, they told, had great speech and had no speech impediments at all. And those without speech impediments were told that they were terrible at speaking, terrible at public speaking, and were ridiculed about their speaking constantly. As a result, those who originally had speech problems developed basically average talking, and those who had normal speaking but were constantly ridiculed for it developed stutters or lisps or some other sort of speech impediment, or at the very least, very, very low uh, self-esteem when it came to speaking or public speaking especially. This just goes to show how important society is in how people interact, especially when they're growing up, and Mr. Potato is aimed at children growing up. Well, that's all for this video. My next video will be about the education system in Peppa Pig, slightly related to this one. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. We're almost at 400 subscribers, 